Hey, what's up? Yin here and I'm back with another unboxing video and today I'm very happy because I got myself this uh, Chainsaw Man uh, t-shirt, right? I like I like Chainsaw Man. I like um, how, uh, you know, his uh, chainsaw gets into him and then he becomes this chainsaw when he becomes enraged. Yeah, anyway. Uh, today, I'm going to open up two items, right? Uh, one is this uh, Just Ear Clear. It's an IEM and this is retailing for 50 bucks. And the next item is this, um, well, I'm just going to op open up and show you guys and maybe try it. Uh, this is the Divinus uh, Ear Tips, the Velvet Ear Tips. Uh, and this Divinus uh, Velvet Ear Tips is uh, retailing for 19 US dollars. Okay, and both of these are available on Hi-Fi Ghost website. So if you guys want to find out more, uh, do check out the unaffiliated link in the description below. Okay, so in this video, I'm going to open this up and then I'm going to uh, show you guys the accessories and the IEM and this ear tips. And then I'm going to test the Just Ear Clear just to make sure the left and the right channel uh, balanced and show you guys the graph as well and then that's it for this video after this video I will evaluate uh, this earphone and test out these ear tips and I'll come back with a full review video so uh, look out for that okay so let's begin first let's remove this annoying plastic okay so let's open this up all right okay all right this is a very nice box and uh, at the back of this box, oh, there's nothing at the back. There's just some information here. Uh, but let me just read out the specs to you. I'll get it from the website. Okay, there you go. So I'll just read it up to you uh, from the website. Uh, the impedance is 32 ohms. The sensitivity is 105. And the frequency range is 20 to 20,000 Hertz. Okay. And the driver is composite LCP and it's a single dynamic driver IEM. Okay, so that's the specs. Let's uh, open this up if I can. Remove the sleeve. There you go. Now let's see uh, if there's anything inside here. Nothing. Okay, let's let it slide out from the cover. Okay, that's it. Nothing else. And there's some paper in here which I'm going to put one side. And let's empty the contents. Let's put this velvet ear tip one side first before I smash it. But well, I'm not going to smash it. Okay. Uh, wow, nice case, nice paperwork. And that's it. That's uh, okay. So you get, um, of course, paperwork, right? So let's put that one side. And then you get uh, a cleaning cloth, and I guess this is to clean the IEMs. Oh, it dropped out, but yeah, it's to clean the IEMs. Oh, nice and shiny, but okay. Anyway, let's put that one side first. Okay, so you get cleaning cloth, you get a carrying case. Let's see what's inside this carrying case. Very nice, it's leather. Uh, well, I think this is synthetic leather. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, anyway, I can't tell. But anyway, this is, yeah, smells, smells synthetic. Yeah, it's tanned uh, looking, okay. And then uh, you got cable, right? So this is the cable, nice and thick. Wow, this is nice and thick. And uh, if you look at the cable, it's a four core cable. It's a very thick cable, wow. Okay, and it's a uh, very nice, tan brown color okay so it's terminated with a 3.5 headphone jack okay and uh, it's got this uh, chin slider here and the Y split is somewhere here which is made of metal which is nice and then you have your ear hooks which is also nice and thick <laughs> very nice and thick and uh, it's terminated with uh, two pin okay and it's got left and right indication on the cable so very nice cable it's a little bit on the grippy side though yeah it is okay so that's for the cable and the cleaning cloth let's put them one side here okay and then ear tips let's take a look at what ear tips uh, they provide and mm, lots of foam tips I see quite a bit of foam tips 
yeah that's a lot of foam tips okay so um one two two sets of foam tips okay one is very grippy and the other one is not so grippy <laughs> yeah so this is not so grippy but i feel that yeah actually one is actually not so shiny as you can see so one is very grippy and the other is maybe matte finish yeah the matte finish one is a little bit more grippier and then you have silicone ear tips so these silicone ear tips the flange uh, is a little bit on the softer side the inner core is quite firm pretty good okay and that's for the ear tips okay now let's take a look at the IEM itself this is a very nice looking IEM it's shiny okay let me just uh, flip it around so it's called just ear and uh, it doesn't look like resin or maybe it is but it's a very shiny looking resin it's very very glossy and the finishing on this is just nice very nice and looks like the inner shell is full is filled it doesn't look like a cavity inside and uh, wow the faceplate is nice that's one thing okay uh, and the inner core or the inner shell has got this like solid inner core inner shell it doesn't look like it's uh, hollow hmm very nice nicely done okay that's uh, the inner side and then of course you have your two pin here and the nozzle is metal right as you can see it's metal here and it's got left and right indication all right let me just show you right here okay it's got the left and right indication is it too near okay all right so that's a very quick unboxing for this okay so now let's move on to this velvet uh, ear tips all right so well this is the divinous ear tips uh, it's called velvet okay that's one size wow they gave me one size so uh, on the website you should get three sets okay but uh, obviously just for me as a reviewer i get one set okay so this is one set it's very expensive it's 18 bucks for three sets so anyway this is a uh, very nice soft is as the name uh, says it is velvety okay uh, it's a wide ball it's a wide ball ear tip and uh, it actually feels i mean it's bigger the dome shape is bigger so it gives you more uh, grip when it goes into your ear canal it's as it says here okay you've got a deeper uh, center here which is the middle part here becomes deeper and uh, it actually gives it more grip when you put it in your ear and it's dust free it doesn't attract any dust so there's no static uh, thing on this and it releases pressure because it's got this very nice inner core here uh, so that you know air can escape okay uh, but it doesn't you know lose any seal like, basically uh, and of course uh, it's a white ball so it gives you more sound stage well supposedly and um, higher treble you know more cleaner treble okay so this is the ear tips let me just put them on to the uh, IEM itself and show you guys this ear tip okay it's very very solid uh, ear tip as, as in the core is uh, very well made okay and there you go and this is how it looks like on the IEM itself okay all right so now let's uh, take out my measuring rig and let's measure these um, just ear clear so be right back okay so I'm back and I as you can see I brought out my measuring rig so now let's put the uh, left side into the coupler which is this one right here okay let's put it in all right now let's test the volume let's make sure the oh let me just set up my pink noise and make sure my microphone is connected and that's done okay and let's uh, test the volume level first it should be oh now it's too loud okay wow it's very loud very easy to drive okay so I'm going to reduce it to 85. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's 85. Let's reset this. So I'm going to test and then I'm going to keep real quiet for 30 seconds. So let's go. Okay, so it's been 30 seconds and this is the measurement for the left 
channel now let's save this file and name it clear okay done and let's store the file now let's recall this file so that it stays on the screen now let's take the left side out and put the right side in okay and again let's uh, make sure the volume is correct so let's uh, test the volume 75 is too low let's make sure it's 85 okay now it's 80 81 82 oh too much 86 okay the well is roughly there let's pause this okay and i'm going to stop talking and let it run for 30 seconds let's go all right so it's been 30 seconds and this is the right side so let me just take it out from the coupler i can just remove this now okay and let's take a look at the graph right so basically what i see is uh well left and the right channel matching is almost perfect yeah it's very very nice left and the right channel matching no issues there okay so when i listen to this earphones i definitely won't be getting vertigo okay now let's take a look at this graph and man look at that graph this is a very very clear v-shaped tuned iem and uh wow it looks looks fun and uh quite okay in terms of the sub bass uh, and the treble okay it's a little bit more bassy well if you look at the ratio right the treble is up to here the sub bass is just maybe uh, three or four db above but look at that valley here so this is telling me that the mids are really recessed okay uh, and also is not a very i mean it's energetic uh, type of treble but it's not a very bright treble as well well yeah it doesn't come back here as maybe the 8k region yeah it's not a it's not a bright treble so and and also it rolls off pretty early so anyway this this is just a very quick uh, measurement and just a read of this graph you know uh, i'll definitely need to uh, listen to this earphones and of course evaluate it and uh, you know and refer it to this graph i'm not going to base on this graph uh, to do my review but anyway that's for the next video so that's it for now thank you so much for watching this video so i'll be back with my full review video so keep a look out for that uh, i hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and if you did please give this video a thumbs up and also please don't forget to subscribe to my channel so that's it for me for now thank you so much i hope you guys have a great day ahead and i'll see you in the review video of this just ear clear Peace.